I'm often asked, what's the best type of motorcycle for the Philippines? And honestly, I never really know what to answer because there's so many great MCs out there for different types of riders and different types of purposes. Recently, I discovered a bike that's easy to use for your weekend off-road adventures that can handle provincial roads and work great in city traffic. Not to mention, super matipid sa gas. If you're looking for an entry-level bike for your on- and off-road adventures, here's the CRF150's baby brother, complete with modern design and tough performance. The all-new 2021 Honda XRM125. It's time to go Beyond the Ride. The XRM has been around Dito sa Pilipinas for nearly two decades, and the lovable locally made underbone has always been a favorite of Pinoy riders, be it in the city or provincial areas. Shempre support local, diba? In fact, since 2004, about 1.8 million XRMs have been sold in the country. That's a big number. The bike is powered by a 125cc single overhead cam four stroke engine that produces 9.6 horsepower at 7,500 RPM and 9.55 Nm of torque at 6,500 RPM. It's made it to a four-speed semi-automatic transmission with a rotary pattern. Stopping power is provided by a disc brake in the front and a drum brake at the rear. Keeping bumps at bay, you have a telescopic fork at the front and a swing arm with two shocks at the back. The new XRM125 comes in three variants, the Motard, the Dual Sport, and the Dual Sport Extreme. What we have here is the Dual Sport, or DS. Some of the updates that you may have noticed right away ay ang bagong headlight at signal light. Kung medyo familiar siya, it's because it was patterned after the famous CRF150. Bago na din ang decals niya at wider na yung body panels para mas macho tingnan compared to the previous model. Modern tough na siya, especially with this new under cowl protector para protectado yung makina. Sarap magmotor, de ba Sir Sack? Bago na din ang instrument panel niya, digital na siya, and it gives you all the necessary information such as speedometer, odometer, fuel meter, neutral indicator, at iba pa. Just like the previous XRM, the new one has an electronic and kickstarter. Underneath the seat, you have access to the gas cap and a small compartment area. The wheels are size 17s front and back, and I love that they're spoke. It really gives that off-road feel. Plus, the foot pegs are nice and wide, so you can actually stand up if you need to. The seat height is super Pinoy friendly, 776 millimeters. The ground clearance is 144 millimeters. I'm 5 foot 6. And as you can see, flat foot. Not a problem whatsoever. Napakagaan niya. That's why it's so easy to maneuver it in city traffic. Let's do a quick sound test before gearing up. The seating position standard naman siya, typical sa mga underbone. Komportable yung upaan, hindi siya matigas at hindi rin sobrang lambot. Tamang-tama lang, pwedeng-pwede pang long ride. Napaka-smooth niya at walang lag. Ganda ng throttle response. Saka may power siya at maganda din yung brakes niya. Tamang-tama lang. Riding this MC in the city is super easy. Sobrang dali to maneuver and filter pagka-traffic. Maganda ang turning radius. Saka dahil ang gaan niya, walang stress sa traffic. This might be the easiest bike I've ridden in the city. Kaya pala sobrang popular ang model na to. Sarap din tong dalhin pang long ride out of town. Imagine, you can get 65.4 kilometers to a liter. That is super impressive. I mean, hindi gano kalaki yung tanke niya, but because fuel injected siya, napakatipid talaga sa gas. Impressive talaga yung number niya. 65.4 kilometers to a liter. Hayop! 
The buttons do feel pretty good, especially for an entry-level MC. The placement is pretty much where they should be. Everything is intuitive. You don't have to look for the buttons. It's where you expect them to be. The side mirrors are okay. Medyo may konting vibration, pero not so bad. The instrument panel is really, really nice. Kahit sa direct sunlight, kitang-kita pa rin yung display. The headlight does work really well. I've used this at night and I can tell you, even though it's not LED, it's really bright. And I was really impressed by it. I mean, I thought it was going to be kind of difficult to ride it at night, pero hindi. It's actually really easy sa gabi. Now, admittedly, I didn't get to try the bike with a pillion or an angkas, but I have seen a lot of people with this same bike and they still manage very well. And sometimes they have uh, top boxes in the back and just a lot of stuff on the bike at hindi sila nahihirapan. And judging by the power and the torque that I can feel, I can tell you that the pillion rider would actually be okay with this bike. And when you go over humps at yung mga lubok-labak dito sa Pilipinas, you don't have to worry because the ground clearance is pretty high. At my engine guard na rin dyan, so you don't have to worry about damaging the engine. Of all the new models and variants and colorways of the new XRM125, this is actually my favorite color. Bagay na bagay sa bike. I mean, I understand most people who ride a Honda, especially yung mga pang dirt bike nila, uh, they prefer the red. Kasi, syempre, Honda, red, di ba? But for me, yung gray saka yung black, maganda eh. And with the accents of the yellow, I like this colorway the most. It's always been known as a durable motorcycle. And I know medyo bago pa lang tong bike na to, this particular model that I'm using right now. But I can tell you that it does feel super solid. It does feel that it will last a very, very long time. So the durability of the old XRM, expect it with the new one as well. Now for the verdict. Is this bike ideal for the Philippines? Well, the simple answer is yes, absolutely. You can take it almost anywhere. It's extremely rugged and tough. It's comfortable. It can handle city traffic better than most bikes out there. It is one of the most fuel efficient bikes out there. The service and parts should not be a problem. And it's extremely affordable with a price tag of 67,900 Philippine pesos. That my friends is a great deal. For more information about this bike and other MCs out there, log on to www.motodeal.com.ph. This has been Gene Rafino. Hope you guys enjoyed going beyond the ride.